morning everybody happy Sunday first time in probably my month since I'm able to go to church just cuz um haven't been able to get anyone to look after Isaac and Ayla so I'm feeling really good about this it's been about a week since I uh, turn on my camera okay so um I'm parked up I am a little bit early for church but you know I uh, I know there are questions and I know I'm not obligated to tell everybody out there what's going on with me in my life um, it's just I knew for here anyway unless I sort of address it you know people are gonna s keep asking me things that I I I really don't want to keep dwelling on um, and it has been quite a sensitive time and you know I I really wanted to just one day take an hour of my day just to sit down in my bedroom have the camera set up in its tripod so I can just really sit there and concentrate and think about what I'm gonna say but you know I keep postponing it it was just easier to just you know flog me getting on with life but for whatever reason it comes across as me trying to drag it out and being clickbait and I just want to say that I may have used clickbait in the past subconsciously and even consciously but for this instance no like I, I, I wish it was clickbait but this is real life you know what instead of just waiting for a time for me to just lay things out maybe I can just do it on the go and just get it over and done with so I can move on and that was the main thing so I can just say it for what it is like I had a whole list of things that I wanted to talk about I'm in a main street so lots of people are just staring in and thinking why is this girl talking to the camera but you guys have been here since Tim and I's dating days and when we got engaged when we got married when we got pregnant and and that's why I guess it was hard. I'm really sorry to say that Tim and I are no longer together. It's been a really difficult time because I have been wearing a lot of guilt. A lot of guilt that I guess I shouldn't be feeling, but I do feel. Um, but I can't help but wonder how this is going to affect Isaac and Ayla's life. As their parent I want the best kind of life for them and I know we live in a different time and just because you're in a nuclear family doesn't mean a child will have a healthy upbringing I guess I just spent the last few months mourning the future that I envisioned for them and I was mourning the past days that we spent as a family it was really a grieving process you know you're you're mourning the death of a life that you had who was I to think that I would have control of my life right so it just reminds us that you know life happens when things happen what you really need is for life to pause but reality is every day it keeps coming there's still appointments there's meetings you still have responsibilities and especially you know when there's children you don't just stop and the thing that hurts me the most is the part about me that I'm most proud about me as a mother I'm I've been angry at myself because I felt like I lost my a-game you know I was that mom that labeled everything um, did his homework the day it was given and now when I drop him off school I'm just about making it on time I'm just about able to get his homework in on time you don't have to have it all figured out in life and life will do all sorts of things you'll hit u-turns dead ends and you'll just learn to pave a different kind of road I know that I'm going to come out of the other side with more understanding and wisdom as cliche as a sign you know, when we go through dark times sometimes it feels as if you'll never 
be able to reach out of it and you just feel so buried and it feels like you're trapped like six feet under when the reality is you've just been planted and although you may not see it yet but you could be so close to blooming I would not want my worst enemy to go through what I'm going through but I'm glad that because of it I was able to wander back to God. Sometimes people look at Christians and you know Christians aren't supposed to be perfect. If anything Christians are people saying they need God. I pray that in this time he can use me and somehow I can glorify him. The thing that crippled me the most was Isaac and Ayla. I had to speak to a lot of my friends who came from single parent families and what keeps me going is them telling me that it wasn't a divorce that broke them. It was them growing up without the love of a parent. As long as they have one person loving them, they will thrive. But actually, when I thrive, they thrive too. So it's two-way and instead of me always just worrying about them, I need to worry for myself as well. It's not that they need a perfect mum, they just need a happy one. I'm just ready to close this chapter and start a new one. I would really appreciate if you guys just remain respectful to Tim and I as we try to navigate this. Sometimes I think how less complicated things would be if there were no kids involved but at the same time I'm so thankful for them and it's because of them they unlock this part of me and I feel like I'm so much stronger because of them and even more so that I can I can do this am I embarrassed that the separation is so public no because this is life maybe I'm too open and honestly this is the best time for me to start putting some boundaries, which I will. But um, because I've lived and shared so much of Tim and I's journey here, um, it's also a good time for me to put closure to it. There was this comedian I was watching, his name is called Daniel Sloth, and he talks about this thing, it's called Jigsaw, and he was saying that, you know, so many people um, romanticize love and how that could be a really, really dangerous thing. And, you know, everybody thinks that their life is only complete when they find the perfect one. And even though this piece obviously doesn't fit in their puzzle, they'll just force and jam it because they rather have something than nothing. What if you only love yourself like 30% and someone comes along and they love you at 40%, which is literally less than half, but you think that's way too much. So you need to love yourself at your full capacity so you know what you've got to offer to the world. Don't be afraid of being on your own. We're all responsible for our own happiness. The people that you meet, they don't complete you. The unknown is scary, but um, I do have faith. I, I do have faith that in hindsight, I'm gonna look back and everything's gonna make sense. And that is gonna be my foresight. So your life is non-complicated right now things are going well please cherish it okay because it's not if okay it's when trouble times come then you can ask yourself instead of why is this happening to me ask how can this situation help me grow sometimes painful endings are just beautiful beginnings in disguise